Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and neighbors, fans and haters, it's your fun-loving, animated, talking head friend, Callous Mind, back with another enlightened episode of the Talking Head Podcast. I want to start this video by wishing everyone out there a happy October. I hope you all are doing well and it's not too cold or too hot where you're at. I wanted to do this video by asking a question and that question is, have we become too sensitive as a society? And I bring this up in part due to this recent article I saw on ESPN.com. Cardinals Ryan Helsley calls Braves' use of tomahawk chop disrespectful. St. Louis Cardinals reliever Ryan Helsley, a member of the Cherokee Nation, believes the Atlanta Braves' tomahawk chop chant is disrespectful and devalues perceptions of Native Americans, the rookie told St. Louis Post-Dispatch on Friday. Helsley on Thursday entered the opening game of the Cardinals National League Division Series with the fans of Atlanta SunTrust Park swinging foam tomahawks while singing a long used song which mimics a Native American chant. The chop is used often during Braves home games and wasn't directed at Helsley in particular, but he said he still found the song's use disappointing. I think it's a misrepresentation of the Cherokee people or Native Americans in general. Helsley told the newspaper Friday ahead of game two, which Atlanta won to even the series 1-1, went on to say, this just depicts them in the kind of caveman type people way who aren't intellectual. They are a lot more than that. It's not me being offended by the whole mascot thing, it's not. It's about the misconception of us, the Native Americans, and it devalues us and how we're perceived in that way or used as mascots. The NFL's Washington Redskins and stuff like that. That's the disappointing part that stuff like that still goes on. It's just disrespectful, I think. The Braves play the chance drum roll over the stadium speakers and place a tomahawk in every seat before Friday's game. The team has long used chop on on its social media accounts all season long. It's everywhere, Helsley told this post-dispatch. I feel like there are a lot of other things that we could use as mascots. Using our heritage as a mascot, it isn't the best thing. There have been schools who in the past 20, 30 years have changed their mascots. I don't see why professional teams are so far behind on that. Is using something as a mascot disparaging that thing that is being used as a mascot? Or are they honoring Seminoles and Braves and Redskins by using them as a mascot. Something to rally around, you know, something to play for. I'm, I'm not sure that I agree with this young man's position on this, but I'm not Native American, admittedly, and uh, so I can't speak to that, but it just seems to me like we're blowing these things way out of proportion. I know that the Washington Redskins name has been uh, a heated topic for several years now, but I don't look at it in a disparaging way. I, I don't look at it as something negative. I just look at it as they're the Washington Redskins. That's what I've become accustomed to seeing them as. And, you know, admittedly, I'm in my 40s, so I'm not sure why everybody's feelings are so easily hurt. And that's where. I wonder if we haven't become too sensitive as a society. I mean, I'm all for human dignity and being aware of the feelings of others, but I also think it's worth noting that no one outside of ourselves is responsible for how we feel. We allegedly live in one of the most tolerant societies on earth. However, tolerance only seems to last so long as you don't disagree with someone else's opinion. And as a matter of fact, it often seems as though the most tolerant amongst us are the most intolerant when it comes to dissenting opinions. Is this the standard we are now living by? The standard where we are only labeled tolerant and accepting as long as we share an opinion? Have we stopped believing that people can disagree with us in good faith 
or are we at a point where disagreements automatically equal bad faith? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video and support this channel. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. And until next week, I will talk to you later. God bless and have a great rest of the week.